So it's a question I keep getting asked quite a bit, and that is, can I use a throttle in the UK? Can, what's the limit on the motor that I can use? What's the limit on power and everything else? So we're just gonna go over that now as a brief review, quick 10 minute video with that, and I hope this helps you all out. So current legislation says that you're not allowed to have a throttle and the motor limit is 250 watts. So you can see that where I pointed that up here for you now. And I'll leave that on the screen for a bit so you can absorb it. And this is current UK law. This doesn't, this doesn't cover Europe or America or anything else. This is just UK. So there's current legislation trying to be pushed through now under consultation that's trying to push through a 500 watt motor and the use of a throttle up to 15.5 mile an hour or 25 kilometers an hour, which is hopefully going to go through. The end of the consultation ends next week or this week, I think, 25th of April. So that ends there and then it'd be looked at again. And the argument being that if you weigh 250 pound and you've got a disability, you need a throttle and you need that extra motor power. I mean, 15.5 mile an hour, I'd like to have seen 20 push through, um, but it's still then considered an EAPC, uh, an e-bike, a push bike essentially. And that's, that's where we're at at the moment. So, over the weekend, I came across a picture of a bike being seized, an Engway Engine X in London. It was seized. There's no story around it, but I, was, I have this thing in my head where if you're the green man, they're not looking at you. And if they do look at you, my advice is to wear a GoPro when you're out riding. And if you're not riding like an idiot, speeding around in pedestrian areas, it's very unlikely anybody's going to pull you over because you're not being a nuisance. Problem is, was this guy being a nuisance? We don't know. And while he's been unlucky, there's places in Birmingham, in Bristol, etc., that have had whole swathes of delivery bikes actually confiscated and destroyed because they were well past the legal limit. And they're ridden extremely fast by some of these delivery drivers, or riders. I've seen them. So there's nothing new there. So one of the other things that's an issue is all this gets cross-referenced to e-scooters, which are blank out if you own your own, it's illegal. You're not allowed to ride it on the pavement, the road or anything else. Even a low power one, they're illegal. And it surprises me that Alfords and various online companies are still allowed to sell these in the UK. So what's the future? Well. We have to wait for this ruling to go, or this consultation to go through. It then goes, sits in front of government. They decide whether we're going to get, you know, this, which I think 500 watt and a full, ex a full throttle use is a way forward. It's a start. Um, and then we can push for 20 mile an hour and a 750 watt motor. So this is a call out to the manufacturers that are selling these 750 watt bikes at the moment that you can restrict to 250. What happens when we get the 500 watt? We can legally ride round at 500 watt. Do you send us a reprogram for the, co the controllers? Is it a new controller? And within that, are you deliberately doing this, knowing this consult consultation's coming up, knowing that we'll have to buy, buy a new controller off you? And that's for those that confirm. It's, it, it's not a hard job fitting a new controller, but if you're not, if you've never been into the wiring of your bike, it's a whole new world. And we know that local bike shops or bike shops of pretty much any sort, they won't touch these bikes. And there's only a few in the UK that I know that will. So you have to learn how to fit a controller if we have to replace the controllers out so you can have 500 watts and a fully working controller. This won't be done through the software. Um, 
there'll have to be an update to some of these bikes. But then you look at Cy Russia, you look at Engwe, you look at Fido or whatever they're called, Lankalazy. All these controllers that I know that are in these bikes are not programmable. We can't touch these. There's nothing we can do to update the program. There may be a piggyback controller coming, but where are you going to pull it? So it has to be a replacement controller. If it was me right now and I was about to buy an e-bike, just ride it around legally. There's times going to come when you can have your throttle go in and everything else. I mean, don't do what I do. It's, it's a thing. This is one of those things which is say, do as I say, because... I don't, I don't, and I deliberately don't try and bring attention to myself, although my bike looks like a space age tank at the moment. If I'm pulled over, I am always wearing a GoPro or Insta360 Ace Pro. I have a camera on all the time, mainly because people keep cutting me up and at some point there's going to be an accident. Um, and then I'm on sort of like one of these programs and getting 250 quid watching me go over the bonnet of a car. The future looks pretty bright if this consultation goes through. But we're still stuck at 15 and a half mile an hour. So if in doubt, don't de-restrict your bike if you're going to buy one. Because in the future, future legislation may turn around and say, it's okay having a 750 watt de-restricted motor in there, but it's illegal. And that's coming. I'm currently in in consultation with the Advertising Standards Authority, um, going against Engwe and Cy Russia for mis-selling on their websites because these bikes are easily restricted and the temptation is always there. So if you, if you think for one minute that things are gonna stay the same forever, they're not. So as far as I'm concerned, and I'm pushing for the ASA to find both of these companies, in fact, all of them, Lankalaze is in there, Fido's in there, for selling 750 watt motors that can be untethered. So in the Cy Russia case, it's untethering a wire. In Engway's case, it's a software change. And I think that's the same for Fido and Fido or whatever they are, and Lanky Lazy. Be very careful how you ride around on your bikes at the moment. I think, I think the police are too busy to look at us. They don't care about us. I, I mean, I, when I was in Leeds the other day, there was people riding by on scooters that they were on their own scooters. These weren't city scooters. I'm going straight past the police while I was talking to the police. They do turn an eye, a blind eye to most of it because it's a waste of their time. But if they're doing nothing at the time and they've got nothing better to do and they're looking at you, this is likely where you're going to get your bikes, got, bikes confiscated. So that's it for now. Um, this was just an update to tell you now about UK e-bike law. You can sit and argue to toss about it in the comments. I don't care. This is where it's at at the moment. I wish it wasn't. I wish it was 20 mile an hour. I wish it was 750 watt motors, but it's not. This is the law. Have a nice day, everyone.